With the arrival of a new 86 Max base icon pack, I feel like quite a few people will be packing Davor Suka. And the reason I say that is because someone came into my chat, said that they packed Suka from the icon pack, someone else came into my chat and said the same thing, and then I opened mine and I also got him, which I'm actually not mad about. It's an 130,000 coin SBC. I just used untradable fodder, so I didn't spend anything. And we got Sukia, who is currently coming in at roughly 190,000 coins, give or take. So why not? Now, Del Piero, dropping Del Piero is going to hurt. But for the sake of the review, let's get Sukia in the starting lineup. I mean, he actually looks like an okay card. Six foot tall, so he's relatively tall. He is high, low. Four star, four star is very nice. Um, He's relatively fast. Some nice shooting. His passing is okay. Respectable for a striker. Quite standard. His dribbling is very nice. His physical is not too bad when it comes to the stamina side of things. The strength it probably will be a little bit weak. Six foot along with 69 strength he probably will get pushed off a ball a little bit he does have it outside of a foot shot trait as well i think a hunter makes the most sense for this card as you can see it is impossible for him to be lengthy or explosive which is obviously expected but with a hunter he goes to an 88 rated striker in game 94 pace 94 shooting he looks pretty solid. We are going to be playing him up top as the sole striker in a 4-2-3-1. Stay central and stay forward along with a mixed attack. Let's see how he does and let's see if there's a massive difference between him and Del Piero. It's a big test for him, 100%, because to fill in Del Piero's boots is going to be a big ask. But you know what? We got him. We may as well try him. Let's see what this card's, you know, let's see what he's talking about. And you know what, I will say this, I've always said Suki is underrated on the game. So let's see if he can prove me right. You know what, he didn't feel too bad on the ball there. Suki, can we get a shot through? Oh, good effort, man, good effort. Bit of a heavy touch, he does win it back though. Go on. Good skill move. You know what? Good effort, right idea, wrong execution type of thing. Good positioning. He's making those runs forward. High low work rates as well. I do really, really like for a striker. I mean, it kind of just depends, but as a stay forward striker, high low is literally perfect. Suka, we need to finish that. Oh, you got to finish that, son. To be fair, I would rather him just bang it first time on his left, but that is very disappointing. That was our ticket to get right back into the game, and he's missed it. Once again, I was registering the shot. The shot was powering up. We get pushed in the back. Unfortunate strength. Trade out the keeper once again, man. Uh, I'm most definitely not aiming straight at the keeper there. Once again, on his on his four-star weak foot. Now that one makes sense, right? Like I'm in a position where you could probably he could probably only get that shot through with his right foot. But that first attempt, man, very disappointed with him for that first attempt, bro. Like one on one with a keeper, falls to him on his left. Just take it with your strong foot. But instead he switched over to his right foot. And by the time we did that, it was too late and he missed a shot, man. That's a couple very solid chances missed from him. the post you know what you know what i'll give him credit there i saw more positives from that movement than i saw cons there very unlucky we hit the post but that's some nice left stick dribbling in the box hey that would do good effort once again i do kind of want him to push up a little bit though get back into position we are Pala, you have to score that. All right, back into the game, boys. 2-1, uh, we've got, what, how long? 25 minutes to get an equalizer and hopefully not concede again. Here we are, Sukia. Redemption, baby. 2-2. Two, two. We're going to go for the win here, man. Look, a draw, kind of pointless in, in division rivals. We're going to push for a win. Sukia, kind of uh, made up for him missing a sitter earlier on, all right? That's absolutely fine. If he missed that, then I'd be asking a lot of questions, all right? But we will take that, bro. So here, ladies and gentlemen, villain turned to hero, baby. Lads, if we can hold off, that, this is an absolute massive result if we can hold off. Uh, 0.2 expected goals from that, and we bang that near post on a strong foot. All uh, right, we're going to move to five at the back now, bro. But villain turned to hero, bro. He missed 
I wouldn't say two sitters, but he missed a good opportunity and an absolute sitter. He came back, he scored, uh, I'll say, a couple bangers. He scored a banger, and as well, he scored a, a solid goal, right? Villain turned to hero. This is exactly what we wanted from him. Now we do have to hold off. We're on the verge of Division 3 here as well, so it's a big game. Um, I'm happy with this formation. Yeah, to see out the remaining 10 minutes, hopefully. Right, big 10 minutes coming up. Let's see if we can uh, we can pull through, man. But, Sukil, it's safe to say he's redeemed himself yet. Yeah. Or well, he's redeemed himself. I was going to say, we don't want to speak too soon yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we will take that. From 2-0 down, a comeback to make it 3-2. Um, honestly, we experienced all of the highs and lows with Suke in this match. Well, Suke, I think it's pronounced. We, we experienced all of the highs. We experienced all of the lows. But all in all, lads, we're walking away with a brace. We're walking away with a solid performance. Ref, I was going to say, man, I thought the ref wasn't going to blow the whistle there. I mean, Suka wins us a foul, man, but okay, we, we lose position anyway. But jammy, Suka wins it back, though. It is very jammy. We're going to pass that in. This is very jammy. That almost squeezed in near post, you know. <laughs> I mean, we, we lost it. We won it back. We lost it. We won it back. We got the shot through. Registered a fake shot instead. So we got another shot through near post, and it actually almost went in. Give a shot through, took a deflect. Thought I might have got a little bit lucky with a deflect, but it was a very, very weak deflect, if you will. Oh, it's offside. It's offside. I was about to celebrate as well. It was a great run. I genuinely thought that was onside for a minute. I was about to actual, like, fist pump the air. Oh, my days. Bro, my, my opponent, he's amazing at defending, bro. It's so hard to get past him. That could have been it as well. Lamar gets the shot through, and then my opponent's defender comes flying in. That would have been an assist for Sukir as well. A 1-1 draw. Bro, we dominated the full second half. It was sweaty. Can't quite walk away with anything there. Bro, it was a sweet fist, man. Suka didn't play bad, a little bit quiet, but definitely didn't play bad. Right, so for the Davor Suka play review, if you look on over to the right, you will see his in-game performances. Game one, a 7.4 rating, two goals, but a 3.5 expected goals. That really did show his two misses at the beginning, especially that sitter. I mean, he underperformed his expected goals by 1.5, which is not what you want for a striker. So that was a little bit unfortunate, no doubt. He did have a... Bro, that first half performance with Suke, we'll just leave it at was dreadful, right? We'll leave it at that. The second half performance, though, was beautiful. He scored the equalizer. Well, no, he scored the goal to get us back into the game. I'm pretty sure then he scored the winner as well. So a little bit of redemption. Game 2, 7.2 rating. He didn't even get a shot through, therefore 0.0 expected goals. He did get 0.4 expected assists, which would have been to Lamar. But then my opponent did go ahead and block it. I mean, those stats don't look too convincing. Two games, two goals. Underperformed his XG by 1.5. But all in all, man, look, he wasn't awful. In game two, my uh, my opponent did well to keep him quiet. And in general, he's a card. He didn't blow me away. Uh, he didn't make me go, wow, this card is absolutely unreal. He's lethal, which I can say he is lethal. But he's not a card that, you know, made me go, wow, this dude is amazing. Like Dal Piero did for me, for example. He's a good card. He's a fun card. But he's not much more than that. But pros have gone for high-low work rates, 4-star, four 4-star, four 86 pace, 88 shooting, 90 finishing, 87 shot power, and 87 dribbling, along with the outside of a foot shot trait. The only con is going to be the 69 strength. He did get pushed off a ball occasionally, and along with 6 foot, 69 strength, he's kind of got the linky body type, if you will, and then he does get pushed off, so he can feel a little bit, I say heavy, not heavy in the sense of ball control, dribbling, ball at the feet, but I more so mean, you know, heavy off the ball movement if you will type of thing uh of overall rating man look i'm gonna give him a 9.2 slap a hunter on him you've got a solid card he can finish it in the box he's very lethal in the box He's just missing that wow factor about him. I do think 200,000 coins is a relatively fair price, so we're going to give him a 9.2 out of 10. If you guys did enjoy this review, if you did, make sure to drop a like and leave a subscription. And until next time, boys, I'll see you later.